We applied de-icer over a lot of different impervious surfaces in the winter, so parking lots, roads, sidewalks. Um, and as soon as that salt, usually, um, is hit with water, it dissolves and it goes anywhere the water goes. So in this case, it runs into storm sewers and straight into our lakes. In Wisconsin, we have a lot of fresh water, and as we start to have salt runoff from de-icers pollute those lakes, the concentration of salt starts increasing. And you can think of it like you think of yourself. If you eat too much salt, it's bad for you. We need fresh water to drink and to survive, and sort of the organisms that live in the lake. So as we start increasing those salt concentrations, it starts hurting anything that lives and has evolved to live in fresh water. And the problem for humans really is that the lake is connected to our groundwater, and we're seeing our groundwater concentrations of salt increase as well, which means our drinking water is getting saltier. So the good thing about chloride and sort of salt pollution in general is that it's definitely a solvable problem. Um, it dissolves in water, and so as the lake flushes out, the concentrations will decrease. And so for us to lower the concentration of salt in our water, all we need to do is stop putting it in. It's really that simple. The key to keeping sidewalks clear in the winter is to manually remove as much snow and ice as you can using shovels and brooms before you think about applying salt. Using salt on top of snow just creates ice or slush, which you'll have to clean up later. Another challenge is clearing snow during a snowfall or snowstorm. When people walk on the sidewalks, the snow can become compacted and is harder to remove. The trick is to start mechanical snow removal early, right when it starts snowing. Then work all through the storm. Clearing snow throughout the storm will stop snow from compacting. Temperatures usually drop after a storm, and sidewalks can become so cold that salt cannot work properly. Using more salt when it is cold isn't going to work. If you need to clear compacted snow or ice, use an ice chisel or an ice scraper. So often, if we get out early, we can shovel and remove ice, um, and that takes care of a lot of the problem. Um, obviously, salt is necessary in certain circumstances, you know, when it's really icy out, um, but a little salt goes a long way. So, how much salt should you use? Here's a simple way to look at it. A coffee mug of salt is enough to treat an entire 20-foot driveway, or 10 sidewalk squares. So, if your area is about 5 sidewalk squares, use a half a coffee cup. If it is more like 20 sidewalk squares, use 2 coffee cups of salt. If you can't estimate the size of a certain space, Make sure that you are spreading the salt so that there are no overlapping pieces. The pieces should be no more than three inches apart. You rarely need the salt spread more densely than this. A little salt goes a long way, so you only need to reapply in special circumstances, such as when snow is continually melting and refreezing. Other weather conditions will affect how and when you apply salt. If it's a warm day and the sidewalk or steps look wet, you don't need to apply salt because the sun is doing the melting. If it is an average winter day, salt will work fine to melt ice. But on a very cold below zero day, salt may not work. To decide what salt to use, you need to consider the temperature of the air and the temperature of the pavement. Sodium chloride or rock salt works for an average day, but will not melt the ice if it is below 15 degrees Fahrenheit. Magnesium or calcium chloride works at colder temperatures, but won't work below negative five degrees Fahrenheit. If you are using a blended de-icer, you will need to read the bag for application instructions. Wisconsin SaltWise provides an easy to use application calculator that allows you to enter the pavement temperature and the type of salt you are using. Then it'll tell you how much to use. Make sure to keep the salt fresh and spreadable. Store it in a tightly covered container because many de-icers attract moisture and turn into a solid lump if we keep them uncovered. If you have applied too much salt or if you spilled some, take a minute and sweep it up and reapply it to a different slippery area. This problem of chloride pollution into water is really at this nexus of trying to maintain public safety while at the same time being really environmentally friendly. And so there's probably some middle ground where we can use a lot less salt and maintain public safety while still trying to protect our freshwater resources.